Okay, so we're at 520 Bryan Road. You're pretty far back from the road. And right down here is like the perfect place to put your RV. And then you've got all this concrete up here. To have the whole family park and then a separate two car garage. Now I did notice some sloping in the floors. Uh, you know, Sam went ahead and looked at it and you can talk to him about that. I just at least wanted to point it out. It's not, there's only one spot that I noticed was, you know, visible with my eye. Everything else, uh, more just kind of a feeling as you're walking through. Sleeping baby. Okay, so immediately to your right, you're gonna have these cool little sliding doors. I'm not gonna slide them all the way because I don't wanna wake him up. Into your kitchen. Your appliances. You can you can like feel the dipping right over here as you walk in where it rises up and goes down. And if you look at this, trying to make it as level as possible, you can see where the furniture is tilting because the floors are sagging into this little nook. This makes you feel like you're in the mountains though, just walking through this house. It's really pretty. You can feel it again. I'm on a, a high hump. I'm going back down. Down the hall. It's going to take you into your living room. You do have new carpet, LVP, and fresh paint throughout. There's a little studio. I would call it, yeah, studio sunroom over here. Some pretty French doors leading into it. Right in between the kitchen and the living room. It's going to take you down to the basement. We're going to go there. We're going to go there last. Okay. Coming down this hallway. You have a little coat closet on the right. This would be the ensuite. So they just have a twin size bed in here. It's not very big. What you could do if you really wanted to do some crazy DIY is knock this wall out and make this all one big room because there's a more living space downstairs too. So, closet, nothing crazy. Ensuite bath is just a single vanity, shower tub combo, and linoleum floors. Okay, across from the ensuite. We're going to have a linen closet. Once again, you know, you can kind of feel it again. And Sam was saying they may not have pulled out the flooring in the hallway because you can feel it get lower when you go into the bedrooms and then higher in the hall. So you can have guest room number two, which I would say just knock it all out and make it one giant bedroom. Okay. Hall bath. Oversized vanity. Same linoleum floors we saw in the last bathroom. And another shower tub combo. Okay. So, bedroom up. This is definitely the biggest of the three, too. And you get the backyard views, which I will say that the views on this property are really what does it. Two point seven five acres of a lot of it. I don't know how you would use it, but it is really pretty to look at. Okay, definitely our best bedroom closet here too. We've got probably a good like seven to eight feet of hanging space in here. You can see this isn't level; it's tilting. They have white noise with birds playing. When I walked in, it freaked me out because 
back door was wide open. And I was like, are those the birds here? Because they sound a little too tropical for this region. So since this is non-restricted, it is technically a neighborhood. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues taking the fence you know, off to the side of the house if you wanted to do that or expanding it back. But at least you do have some dog containment to get started with. They even, you know, have something for our geriatric pups. And then, you know, this little bit of a safety hazard here, not having the dowels. The kitchen? Yeah. I do too. I like the sliding doors in there too. So the stairs are pretty steep. hard to show it on camera but they're pretty steep walking down okay bottom of the steps you're gonna have your laundry the floors do feel like shifty like you're I up feel like whenever i change rooms i notice it the most yeah yeah like and when you come from the entry hall it's, into the kitchen it I goes down and then yeah 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 they're definitely sloping a little bit so you have a full in-law suite down here Second living room. Got a little kitchenette too. These are newer cabinets too. I'm pretty sure these are soft closing. Yep. Soft closed cabinets. I don't know where the other, there's the light in here. Here we go. So you know, if you took this out, definitely free up some walking space. Definitely nice to have this. You could even Airbnb this out. Here's your walkout patio. Let's see where some of the brick has started to chip away. They put a screen door on the kitchen down here. Okay. Interesting. All right. Come back this way. It's going to take you over to the garage. Okay. Just a big storage closet. It's pretty deep, too. I mean, it goes all the way back there and all the way over here. I did not expect to see dogs in there, and that just gave me like a mini heart attack. Okay, service door. I didn't know there were dogs in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I saw them. Yep, nope. I was just looking at the camera, oh, and there they are. Is that garage pretty big? I didn't know in there. It's it's decent. I mean, it's just a standard one car, but it goes back. It's got a little nook in the back. Okay. But yeah, but there's the. Did you see the storage unit down here? Yeah, the big I closet. Just, I just kept going. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. I, there's like a light on back there. I turned on. Just like a random room. Yeah. Yeah, no. Good size garage. I mean, you've got the two up there, too, and then you've got that other room for storage, so I would say it'll work out pretty well. Space-wise. Okay. Get this locked up. Yep. 
Good Lord. All right. Okay, nice. So it looks like we've got, oh, there's another one, I think, unless this is a dual entry. Okay, now so you've got two entrances to the same little storage room, which is pretty sweet. Um, what we got back here? Oh, it goes back even further. I just got some pallets back there. Like, holy cow, Bunga. This great place for some storage. Holy cow. I didn't walk down here first. Um, after I walked in and the back door was open, I wanted to wait until everyone else got here. Okay. Go down the other side. You're going to have your full bath. Oversized single vanity. Another shower tub combo. All right. And then here's your bedroom down here. And I have this chair in front of this, but I mean, you can see closet depth. We're looking probably about three feet deep. Maybe about six to seven feet in hanging space from what they have walled out. Okay. Pretty sweet. That's going to be it for this one.